Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look on how to use gitignore on Visual Studio Code. Now if you find yourself in the situation where you have a bunch of sensitive files or just files you don't want to be uploaded to your GitHub, or you have a folder of files or a group of files that you can download from the internet so you don't really need to have them uploaded to your GitHub, gitignore is what you want to use. So I have a very basic node project here, as you can see, package.json, um, it doesn't really have much, and index.js is completely empty. But I have installed, as you can see here, dependencies, I have installed nodemon, and that's created this uh, node modules uh, folder, which has a lot of folders and a lot of uh, files inside of them as well. So we don't want this to be uploaded to GitHub because if we just open up a terminal and do npm install, it'll just install all the dependencies we need. And well, it says that we uh, that we already have everything installed. But if we wanted to use this project on another computer, on our, our server, or we want to deploy it somewhere, we can just do M uh, npm install and it'll just install everything. So we don't really need node modules here. And as you can see here in my source control, there are 744 uh, new files uh, that I would be committing to my GitHub. It makes no sense for me to have all of this uploaded since I could just get it from the internet directly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new file and I'm going to say dot git ignore. And in this file, we're just going to type the name of the folder or the name of the file that we don't want to be uploaded. So in my case, it's going to be node underscore modules. And now, uh, imagine we want a specific file. So I've created my app folder here, and I have application.html and index.html. So imagine I didn't want index to be pushed to our GitHub. Now, instead of writing just app, since it would get rid of both of them, I can just do the root, which is API, uh, app, and then index.html. There we go. So you see that the the folders that or the folders and files that I've added to my gitignore are now uh, this shade of uh, they are gray. This is Visual Studio basically saying these two files are not going to be uploaded. If you really want to check that they're not going to be uploaded, just come to source control and you see that they're not on this list. There, there is no index.html. You will see, however, that gitignore is being uploaded to our GitHub. Now, you can add .gitignore to your gitignore if you wanted to, but uh, I'm not going to do that because I want my gitignore to be passed on to my GitHub. So now for the final test, I'm just going to upload all the changes. So I'm going to stage the changes. I'm going to commit. So we're going to say added the dot git ignore and we're going to commit. We're going to push to our GitHub and now here's our GitHub. And there we go. Everything's uploaded. Let's see app. You can see that index.html is not uploaded and we can see that our node modules folder has not been uploaded. So we don't have seven, 700 or whatever files uploaded to our GitHub, which we really don't need. So there you go. That's how you use gitignore. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.